Can you imagine Wednesday Addams without all the goth snark? Yeah, neither could we. Wednesday Addams has always been a bit of a walking rain cloud. The Addams family's only daughter was prone to strange and macabre humor long before Jenna Ortega took on the role of the raven-haired goth teen in Netflix's new series Wednesday. Back in 1944, when the original The Addams Family cartoons appeared in The New Yorker, one featured a punchline in which mother Morticia encouraged her daughter to commit attempted murder. She tells her presumably bullied daughter, "'Well, don't come whining to me. Go tell him you'll poison him right back.'" When she first made the leap from the funny pages to the TV screen, Wednesday was just as morbid as ever, albeit also adorable as embodied by child actor Lisa Loring. In the 1960s Addams Family series, pint-sized Wednesday plays with explosives and a guillotine. I hope he brings me a new Marie Antoinette doll for my guillotine. <laughs> In the 90s, Christina Ricci's version of the character straps her brother to an electric chair just for kicks. Dark comedy has always been a through line for the lovably sadistic character, but when it comes to the latest iteration of the franchise, Wednesday's macabre one-liners almost got the axe. Series writer-creators Alfred Goff and Miles Miller spoke to Geek Vibes Nation ahead of the show's release and revealed that executives weren't initially on board with the character's signature dark humor. Miller revealed, One executive wanted to cut all the jokes out, all the black humor, all her references to murder and suicide and death. We were constantly getting notes to just eliminate all the jokes. The first season of the teen mystery sees Wednesday kicked out of her public school for throwing piranhas in the boys' pool. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the girl's penchant for darkness. But as Miller said, that's the essence of Wednesday. And the pair told the outlet that they ignored all the notes about cutting the show's dark humor. The version of the show viewers ended up with isn't afraid to make light of the bleaker side of life. Like when Wednesday talks about emojis with her new roommate. When I look at you, the following emojis come to mind. Rope, shovel, hole. The pair also credit Tim Burton, who executive produced the series and directed several episodes, for keeping that integral balance between humor and horror intact. Miller said, It's interesting, and obviously it takes someone like Tim Burton to be able to pull off that tone. Meanwhile, Goff says the pair kept that marriage between horror and comedy in mind while writing the script, telling Geek Vibes Nation, The thing with comedy and horror is about timing and rhythm. They're actually very similar. Ignoring those studio notes apparently paid off, as Netflix claims that Wednesday turned out to have the biggest premiere week of any English-language Netflix original. By those metrics, which are admittedly not made public by the streamer but are instead self-reported, Wednesday had an even bigger debut than Stranger Things 4. I swear on my late Scorpion soul, my hands are clean. The show's first season follows Wednesday as she attends Nevermore Academy, a school for outcasts, including sirens, werewolves, and in her case, burgeoning psychics. Soon after she enrolls at Nevermore, strange and violent things start to happen, and it's up to Wednesday to figure out who's responsible for the attacks on her fellow students. While Wednesday is more of a young adult drama or a mystery series than a comedy, the show is still shot through with the dark humor Miller and Goff maintained from the script they initially handed into Netflix. Admittedly, Wednesday would be lost without it. Ortega imbues the character's most disturbing lines with a perfect deadpan delivery that makes her protagonist worth rooting for, even if her favorite pastimes are the sort that would make God-fearing normies, as the show calls non-superpowered people, run for the hills. As for that balance between humor and horror, Goff says it came naturally, like Wednesday's knack for bloodshed and mayhem. He told Geek Vibes Nation, For executives, it was scary, but for us, it wasn't. 